All right, we're going to get started in a minute. Um, I got a combination of a couple different books today. Uh, some classics, some seasonal. So, the first one we're going to read is a book called Spooky Pookie. Spooky Pookie. All right. Then we got the classic, Where the Wild Things Are classic and then we got a book called kindness is my superpower all right and then last and i don't know if i'm going which order i'm going to read them we have 10 timid ghosts so i might read uh, the Halloween ones first, just because I want to read those. Yeah. So I'm going to regret this, but I bought two Monster Energy drinks. Um, this one, if you ever had this flavor, it's called Ultra Fiesta. Now these ones I get always get are sugar free. This one is mango flavor, and it's wonderful. So, let me open it up. Before you start, do we, does Barb always put Ramsey and Vernon in their beds? Yes. Okay. <sighs> All right. Come on, Rams. All right, it's just about 8 o'clock. So, we're going to start with Spooky Pookie. Spooky Pookie. <clears throat> it's Halloween, little Pookie. Tonight, when it's dark, we will walk down our street. We will visit our friends. You could say, trick or treat. But first, little Pook, you must choose what to be. Let's look in this box and see what we see. Will you be a dragon? It's itchy. Will you be a bear? It's hot. Or maybe a Pookie who flies through the air? It's too tight. Thank you, Ms. M. I'm glad to do it. A clown could be funny. A pumpkin is cute. You would make a fine bunny in that white bunny suit. I see something yellow peeking out from the box. Oh, look, a banana who wears stripy socks. There's one more to try. It's a little white ghost. Will this be the costume that you like the most? And Pookie says, I'll try it. Eek, it's a ghost. Nope, it's a spooky pookie. Trick or treat. All right, that was an easy one, huh? <laughs> I knew that was going to blow through that in five minutes. All right, the next one, though, is called Ten Timid Ghosts. Here's the picture. You're welcome, Dutchie. Ten timid ghosts. Ten timid ghosts in a haunted house. A witch moved in and wanted them out.
Can you see the ghosts? One saw a skeleton and let out a whine. He flew to the woods, and then there were nine. Oh no, she's here. Nine timid ghosts in a haunted house. A witch moved in and wanted them out. One saw a bat and didn't wait. She flew into the woods. She flew to the woods. So then there were eight. Billy, I'm leaving here. All right. Let you got. You need something for me to do? You need anything done? Nope. Nope. Bye, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. I know. What do you want? <laughs> nice seeing you, Billy. Nice seeing you, too. Okay. Eight timid ghosts in a haunted house. Eight timid ghosts in a haunted house. Okay. Eight timid ghosts in a haunted house. A witch moved in and wanted them out. One saw a ghoul and screamed, Oh, my heaven! He flew to the woods, and then there were seven. Seven timid ghosts in a haunted house. A witch moved in and wanted them out. One saw a cat. What a terrible fix. She flew to the woods, and then... There were six. Look at that cat with the big teeth. Six timid ghosts in a haunted house. A witch moved in and wanted them out. One saw an owl and took a dive. He flew to the woods. And then there were five. Hi, Billy. Hello. Five timid ghosts in a haunted house. A witch moved in and wanted them out. One saw a vampire and dashed to the door. She flew to the woods and then there were four. Four timid ghosts in a haunted house. The witch moved in and wanted them out. One saw a monster and was scared as could be. He flew to the woods and then there were three. Three timid ghosts in a haunted house. A witch moved in and wanted them out. One saw a spider. And what did she do? She flew to the woods. And then there were two. Look at that spider. I'd fly to the woods too if I saw that spider. Two timid ghosts in a haunted house. A witch moved in and wanted them out. One saw a rat and started to run. He flew to the woods and then there was one. One clever ghost in a haunted house. A witch moved in and wanted her out. She saw the witch coming undone. She flew to the woods and then there were none. Ten angry ghosts in the deep dark wood. That witch is too tricky and just no good. This isn't fair. We live in there. 
let's band together and give her a scare. One mean old witch in a haunted house. Ten brave ghosts wanted her out. Boo. Boo. Sounds like when I watch the Phillies. The witch saw the ghosts and howled with fear. She tore out the door screaming, get me out of here. And then here's the last page. <laughs> yes. Yes, Dutchie, also the Eagles. All right. I think we're going to also, we're going to read, and I don't really know how this book is, but it sounds good. It's called Kindness is My Superpower. Um, a children's book about empathy, kindness, and compassion. I'm Lucas, just an ordinary boy. Nobody loves me. He's just a poor boy. No, sorry. I'm Lucas, just an ordinary boy. And this is Teddy, my favorite toy. I like to eat candy, jellies, and cakes. But sometimes I make some mistakes. Is that the purple... Uh, that's that the purple mama he's holding? Hmm? You see, yesterday I was in a bad mood, so I did something very, very rude. I teased my friend Lisa for her glasses and made her cry throughout all her classes. When I got home, I saw my mom. She put my hand into her gentle palm. She told me, honey, your friend Lisa is so sad. What you did was wrong and bad. You need to be kind, she also said. I knew I was wrong, so I bowed my head. What is kindness? I asked my mom for advice. She hugged me tightly, not once, but twice. Kindness is when you say a gentle word. You can be kind to your sister, a puppy, or a bird. You can be kind to someone who is angry and mad. You can be kind to someone who is unhappy and sad. Kindness is when you respect people older than you. Kindness is when you respect the younger ones too. Kindness is when you help everyone in need. Kindness is whatever, whenever you do a good deed. Is that Janie there? Is that Janie? I pondered on her words and I couldn't sleep all night. I really wanted to be kind and genuinely polite. So I decided then and there without any warning, that I will become kind in the morning. And in the morning, I was kind, it's true. When mom made me breakfast, I said, thank you. I took off my pajamas 
which was soft and red. I put away my toys and made my own bed. That's better than me, huh? I don't put away my toys or make the bed. On the bus, I showed up the best I could be. I showed up the best I could be. I offered the new boy to sit next to me. I helped him find his classroom too. That was the least I could do. I said hello to all my friends. I even shared my crayons and pens. And then I saw Lisa with sadness in her eyes. I approached her slowly, wanting to apologize. I'm sorry I teased you yesterday. Lisa smiled and said, it's okay. I realized that kindness is super cool. So I was kind beyond just at school. On the playground, I patiently waited for my turn for the slide. And you know what? I felt so happy inside. I was patient and kind, not angry at all. And I found joy in helping a little boy find his lost ball. I picked up the trash even though it wasn't mine. Kindness and good deeds made my heart shine. When I went with my mom to a nearby store, I helped a lady with the stroller by holding the door. After we bought my favorite toy and treat, my mom and I helped an old lady cross the street. Look, that old lady's name is Bonnie Davies. Let's see if I get a response. I continued to be kind with joy and glee and at night at home, my dad fell asleep in front of the TV. He was sleeping on the sofa instead of his bed, so I covered him with a blankie and kissed his forehead. I helped my little sister tie her shoelace. I was happy to see the smile beaming on her face. Hi. You see a little special guest here? Being kind isn't really so hard to make. I want to give my lonely neighbor a piece of cake. I also helped him water the flowers. Kindness does have magical powers. I no longer do the mean things I had done before. I don't tease others and I don't slam the door. I stopped being selfish and I shared my toys. I don't shout around or make disrespectful noise. Uh oh. Uh oh. Kindness is something you can quickly learn when you give and ask for nothing in return. Helping others is the least you can do. If you are kind, kindness will come back to you. Acts of kindness. A random act of kindness is an unexpected act of kindness done by one person for another without any way to have predicted it. 
Doing acts of kindness is one of the best activities parents can do with their kids. It's a great way to bond as a family, a lot of fun, and teaches kids about compassion and service. Any act of kindness, no matter how big or small, can make a difference, especially when done intentionally. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm being very kind. I thought that was your picture in here, that the, they were helping you cross the street. Simple acts of kindness ideas. Leave someone a kind note. Give a compliment. Hold the door open for someone. Do a chore for a sibling. Create care packages. Bring dinner to someone. Ugh, I'm scared now. Donate old books. Smile. Clean up your room without being asked. Give a candy bar to the bus driver. Hi, Stephen S. How are you? Tell a family member how much you love them. Help make dinner. Free space. Pick up litter. Give a hug. Let someone go ahead of you. Volunteer. Say thank you when you see service members. Bake cookies for firefighters or police. Or Bill. Write a thank you letter. And then there's a little note here, author's note. Thank you so much for purchasing this book and meeting Lucas. If you enjoyed it, please consider leaving a review. And there's the website. And so scan this code to get your free gift now. As we work to create light for others, we naturally light our own way. And that's the end of the book. So it says that the kindness is something you could quickly learn when you give and ask for nothing in return. Helping others is the least you can do. Hi, Nino. Now I'm extorting cookies. Yes, I am. Hey, it's better than tossing cookies. <clears throat> Sorry. Hello, Nino. How are you? Is Nino still a big uh, fan of the San Francisco Giants? All right. All right. Well, I got one more book to read. And it's probably the most popular. Oh, oh, good. Um, this is where the wild things are. All right. Classic, classic book. Yeah, well, I won't have to wait long for that. So this is where the wild things are. <laughs> yeah, this is a classic. Story and pictures. Here's the here's the uh, one of the pictures. Uh, somebody called Bingo. Stop. Hold your cards, everybody. Bingo has been called. All right. Or how about was there a farmer who had a dog? All right. All right. So. The knight wore, Max wore his wolf suit and made mischief of one kind. And another. His mother called him Wild Thing, and Max said, I'll eat you up. So he was sent to bed without eating anything. <laughs> that very night in Max's room, a forest grew. And grow. Wow. 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 
and grew until his ceiling hung with vines and walls and became the world all around. And an ocean tumbled by with a private boat for Max, and he sailed off through night and day. And in and out of weeks and almost over a year to where the wild things are. Was it really? Interesting. And when he came to the place where the wild things are, they roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. Hey, Marilyn, till Max said, be still, and tamed them with the magic trick of staring into all of their yellow eyes without blinking once. And they were frightened and called him the most wild thing of all. and made him king of all wild things. And now, cried Max, let the wild rumpus start. Um, we now interrupt this book to show you the real wild things right here. Ladies and gentlemen, the wild things. All right. So here is the next page, and this is basically the wild rumpus. Another picture of the rumpus. Look at them. They're just having too much fun. You know... I don't get it. I don't get why. This is not a scary book. Even if I was a kid, I wouldn't think it's a scary book. I guess because, uh, you know, you never judge a book by its cover. You never judge a person by your first impressions. Now stop, Max said, and sent the wild things off to bed without their supper. And Max, the king of all wild things, was lonely and wanted to be where someone loved them best of all. Ooh, that's a tiny little nugget. Hey, nugget. Of course, that nugget thinks he's huge. Then all around, from far away across the world, he smelled good things to eat. So he gave up being king of where the wild things are. Hold on. I have to show you a nugget. Hey! There's a nugget. Look at this nugget. Look at that. Here's where the wild things are. Hi, Kiara. Hi, Kiara. Look, it's where the wild thing is. Look at that, where the wild thing is. Hey, 
Look at that. That is a one tiny little nugget. Is that beer? A little nugget. Little nugget. Hey, you. Hey. All right. I am going to put you back down. There we go. There we go. All right. Let's get back to the story. Kiara. Kiara. All right. So, then for all around for far away across the world, he smelled good things to eat, so he gave up being the king of where the wild things are. But the wild things cried, oh, please don't go. We'll eat you up. We'll love you so. And Max said, no. The wild things roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. But Max stepped into his private boat and waved goodbye. And sailed back over a year and in and out of weeks and through a day. And into the night of his very own room where he found his supper waiting for him. And it was still hot. So that is where the wild things are. Now here's the kicker. I bought four books. I knew one was going to be very short. Um, I thought this book here was going to be longer. I never really read it. I just saw that there was a lot of pages. I guess I didn't realize most of it was... Uh, uh, pictures and things like that. Um, <laughs> good night, Min Kitty. Um, so I only bought the four books with me, and I wanted really wanted to make sure that I uh, did the um, the Halloween stories. I'm going to see if I could find any Halloween uh, Halloween. I'm going to see if I could find any Thanksgiving stories. And I already have a couple um, Christmas books that I'm going to read for you. I'm not going to talk too much about them. But let's just say one of the Christmas books is a Christmas kitty book on a subject that we have, that I have read here before. So that's uh, one of the things. Marilyn, what are you doing? Uh-oh. Marilyn's a little bugger. Look at, look at this right here. You got all of the, um, uh, I don't want to call them special needs kitties, but basically the kitties, you know, you got in this bit here, you got magic right next to magic. You got Coralie, then you got Derecho, and then you got Alma, Alma, who's from Philadelphia. I know there's a children's book about Philadelphia I was thinking of buying and, and uh, on here, uh, and I was going to mail, since, uh, read it on here since I'm from there. Alma's from Philadelphia. Deb's from Philadelphia. Bonnie's from Philadelphia. Uh, MK, I believe, also was from Philadelphia. So I thought that would be an interesting book. I wanted to also tell you, I, I just thought this was funny. Um, you know, right now, all around town, there's so many political signs. And one of the signs is for somebody named Wobbler. <laughs> all I keep thinking is, Derecho is running for office? You know, because the, the person's name is Wobbler. 
So I, I kept thinking of the Raid Show. I thought that was kind of funny. So. <laughs> I saw that today when I was taking Bonnie back from her uh, appointment today. It's like, Wobbler! Wow, that's the Raid Show! Yeah, Marilyn's in play mode. Um, I wonder if that kitty on top of the dryer is C Dot. I don't know. I'm going to take a look. Hey. Hi. Oh. There's a lot of oranges here. A lot of them. Hi. Hey there. Hey there. Hey you. What you doing there? Huh? comments who else is here I see Pania Pania You got a lot to say tonight. You got a lot to say. C dot's a darker orange. Yeah. I don't know which one C dot is anymore. Um, we got an Asha. Asha. Hello, Asha. Oh, Asha likes the pets. Hi, Asha. Hard to believe that people thought Asha was a feral cat. When Asha is probably the most gentle, sweet kitty. Here's your Asha. Here's your Asha. And of course, uh, we have Janie here, who is probably missing her uh, boom boom. Uh, and we also have Hensley here. One of the things Hensley always reminded me of is the, the cat on the clock, you know, with the eyes going up. It looks like she's got the same cat eyes. All right. So next week I have a couple more books. Um, whoa. I uh, I'm at, there's actually a kids book that was inspired by LeBron James, and I I actually think his what he does for the schools. You know, he opened up his own school up in Akron. And I just think that's wonderful. And uh, the book was based on um, one of the schools that he opened. And I'm, I was thinking of probably reading one of those next week. Uh, because he definitely, uh, definitely gives back to the community. And I just think that's wonderful. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's nice. That's Sasha. 
Same two people. It's a gift for Christmas. That's very nice. So, I'm going to probably wrap it up in a couple minutes and leave a little early. Um, I think uh, I'll know next week to bring a couple more books or bring a, a like an emergency book just in case I run out of stories like I did today. Hi. Kitty cats. Hensley. Hi, Hensley. How's that Hensley kitty? How's the Hensley? How's that Hensley? Oh, you're welcome, Tina. How's that Hensley? Hi Daisy. How are you? Thank you, Dutchie. Somebody's rocking and rolling in the uh, kitty cabana. Peanut butter flavored dog biscuits. Mmm. Bye. Uh, all right. So let me see. Make sure I got my keys. They're ready. Well, probably fortunate for me, I didn't open up this one here. Yo, you're welcome, Craig. So, I can drink that tomorrow. Alrighty. The cat is black. Actually, that's derecho. Derecho is actually, like, gray and white. So I know he shows up as black and white on the camera, but he's more like gray and white. So thank you, Ms. M. Thank you, everybody. I will see you guys in a bit. Uh, I usually stop at the store on the way home, but I actually stopped uh, before, before I uh, came here because I had to get kitty litter and things like that. So, all right, guys. Thanks again. I am uh...